Good evening, Carl Johnson, Mastermind Traders. It is Monday evening, approximately 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, March 14th. I'm taking a look at the VIX. I'm going to make the chart a little bit smaller, make it easier to see. We can see that Friday, the market moved up pretty decently, ran right into the 2021 resistance level. And then today we have a doji. Now that doji we are going to look at as a possible chance of reversing. But more so that doji has a message of whatever happens next can be significant, whether that's to the downside or whether that's to the upside. So if we get a break out of that 2021 resistance and a close above that level, then it is possible that we can continue up to the next level of resistance. And we have this trend line as a resistance as well as this horizontal line as a resistance level. And if the market does back off to the uh, downside, we could come all the way back down to 1931. And this also is a little bit of a uh, support level, a little bit on the weaker side, but uh, it's a possibility. Now, we have the market moving up to a resistance with a doji as the overall volume in the marketplace is dropping. So when we see a stock usually, and perhaps the market, as it is approaching a resistance level with waning volume, decreasing volume, then that could be a sign of reversing. So we'll see what happens. But then again, that doji is truly stating whatever happens next can be significant. Well, let's take a look at the VIX, the fear indicator. And let me bring that chart up and make that a little bit easier to see. All right, so with our doji at the 2021 resistance level, we have a doji and the VIX too. So the VIX is concurring with the market. And the VIX is telling us that, yeah, we can believe that doji as a strong message of indication. Now, the VIX is a lot better when it is to its highs calling a market low. So when the market got low, it reversed. In other words, a high VIX is better at calling market lows than a low VIX is at calling market highs. In other words, this, just because the VIX is low, that doesn't necessarily mean that the market's high and it's about to reverse. And it can. I mean, the VIX certainly does do that. It's just not as good of a message as the VIX is when it's high, calling market lows. So we really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I'd like to take a look at the futures late at night around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, or 12 a.m., I guess we would call it. And... Uh, and uh, see what the futures are and give a little bit of indication of what direction the market may go tomorrow. All right, nonetheless, that's a little bit of a heads up. If you did not catch this resistance level on your own charting, I wanted to point it out to you. All right, everybody, take care until next time.